Hi, I'm Mike Bush. I want to acknowledge Commissioner Peter Marshall and his leadership over the last three years. I'm serious about this. As a police officer, we're not perfect, but that is the reality. Peter's set the bar extremely high. Come and talk to us. We do make mistakes. One of the reasons our results are so good. It is uh, just on 1 o'clock, 26th of November. Um, I haven't contacted the New Zealand Police over what happened last Friday in regards to Neil and myself. Um, I wanted to put things in writing and um, I'm just going to show you the, the letter here I've written um, and perhaps give it a quick read for everybody to, um, to see what I've done. Yeah, um, basically I've uh, addressed it to Mike Bush, Police Commissioner, of course that's the the acting thing he wants to be in, so be it. Right, so it's dated the same date the harm was caused by Neil. Right, so it says, um, greetings Mike. I require you to answer the following questions point by point with a complete and meaningful response for each question I ask of you. Question 1. On this morning, 21st of November 2014, approximately 9am, a man who identified himself when asked, who are you? as Constable Neil Winterbottom stopped me in an unmarked police vehicle whilst I was travelling home. During the interaction he stated yes when I asked him do you believe you have authority over I a man? Do you Mike agree with Neil's belief? Neil was very rude and did not appear to understand simple English when I asked for clarification he was unable to help. At no point had he required by right or and authority for I to produce a driver's license. It was only a request. I believe he had no right or authority to do so, only an obligation. I found his demeanour aggressive and ignorant. After depositing some papers on my property, Neil returned to his vehicle to leave, without answering any of my questions, which Neil had agreed to discuss with myself earlier. This is unacceptable. I attempted to return the papers of his and possibly continue the conversation. However, he reversed towards a main road to evade further interaction, a very dangerous spot. I proceeded to place his paper back under his wiper, at which time he accelerated forward, trapping my foot under the right front tyre of his vehicle. I believe he did me harm. I demand, require and order you to act according to your rules and your legislation as I believe you are bound by these things, are you not Mike? Um, I require at minimum an explanation from you Mike for the trespass, harm, harassment and distress caused by Neil Winterbottom upon myself. Question 2. Do you believe that at that moment in time Neil's statements and actions were appropriate while acting in his professional capacity? Question 3. Do you believe an infringement is a wrong? Question 4. Do you believe an offence is a wrong? Question 5. Do you believe I, a man, are a person? And then you can confer to New Zealand Butterworth Law Dictionary. Question 5b. If yes, which type of person? You can confer again to the Interpretations Act 1999 section 29 through 30 and or confer to New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 section 29. Doesn't mean that I believe any of that, or I'm bound by any of that, but he certainly is in that capacity. Question 6. Do you believe I am a you? A plural. Do you believe asking a question is refusal or a failure? Do you, Neil, or New Zealand Police derive any authority over I a man? I'm oh, sorry, where do you derive any authority over I a man? According to Neil, he has authority over I a man, in question marks, in brackets. Question 9. Do you believe I, a man, are legally trained or understand any legislature? Question 10. Do you believe I, a man, require a license to exercise a right? And finally, any further discussion and or correspondence with this matter must be in writing and addressed to... Blah, 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 blah. Now, I haven't put in there notice to cease and I haven't told him that I ordered him to cease and desist because as far as I'm concerned I sent through registered post a letter to Mike Bush who I believed his name was Mike, uh, Matt sorry at the time but thanks to Neil I found out that that isn't the police commissioner's name it's actually Mike Bush and not Matt Bush so because of that I've um, yeah I'm not going to give him another one but We'll see. I can just keep sending more letters. It's not a problem. Just give them more notices. Okay, 
So then we have this notice, I, a man, do not understand legalese, legal meanings, legal terms and or customs within the legal society. I rescind anything I have said and or not said, all my actions and or inactions that may have indicated that I am other than a man or that I am in any type of jurisdiction other than a common law court of record. I, a man, are ready to settle any debt with any man or woman with a verifiable claim, not complaint. Bring any woman forward who wish to claim trespass and I will compensate that man or woman immediately. I, a man, give no entity known as New Zealand Police the right to administrate property. I say that picture of my property. I, a man, declare any interference of, for or with the enjoyment of property, the exercise of my rights by any qualified employee of New Zealand Police will be held liable for damages due to injury and or harm resulting from arising out of any torturous act, error or omission of the individual trespass. I will require by right and authority compensation of one dollar New Zealand denomination for every second of his moment in time for any trespass. Dun, 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 dun. I say here and will verify in open court that all herein be true. Should you wish to continue any further with this matter or any other, please find an attached fee schedule for my services and products and time. Dun, 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 dun. Fee schedule. Now, this is when I'm acting in, uh, in their world. This annexed notice of intent fee schedule is a schedule of mandatory fees and stated by the secure party creditor marked in other words that's the natural person authorized signature attorney in fact not law ah blah 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 you go and do your own research about that stuff if you want to but that's my eight page fee schedule Okay. Another notice. I uh, man are ready to see any. Uh, basically, this is these three notices are just combination notices of the um, of the other one um, that I put on the end of the letter that was addressed to Mike Bush. Okay. So they're just copies, and that's the second part. All right. So what I'm going to do now is quickly stamp thumbprint it, autograph it all, because I authored these documents, I'm going to put my name and my thing behind it. I'll see how we go. Back soon. It's because of the high levels of public trust and confidence. So, yeah, all signed and, and stamped. Alright, the whole lot, that's all stapled together, that's the three page letter with the the all three in one notice. That's the fee schedule with a little correction I did down on the page numbering. Printed on each one. All right. Um, and then we have these notices. You know, notice to settle a debt. Notice do not understand legalese. And uh, notice. Um, I'll give them fair notice about my property. I have a stamped envelope to Mike Bush addressed back. Okay, so that's going to him. And we shall fit it all in the envelope. If I can. I'm hoping I can. Oh, and in the envelope here I've put a little a little thank you note here to Neil. It reads, um, Please thank Neil for correcting my error with your name, Mike. Kind regards me. Right, because, I mean, I would have still been sending stuff to Matthew Bush or Matt Bush if, um, lovely Neil hadn't, um, corrected the error in my, um, in my ways. So, on that part, at least he was telling the truth, we'll say, eh? But, um, either way, oh, um, yeah, I just want to say thanks. There's, there's nothing worse than getting someone's name wrong. You know? Is there? Nothing worse whatsoever than getting someone's name wrong. Alright. So that's all in there. Three schedules are all in. All sealed up. Alright. So there we go. Mike Bush. Today's date. 
26th of November. How about one? We're not perfect. Okay, guys. Well, I'm at my local post shop. I'm now going to post this letter here to Mike Bush. And That's that. We will do the best to make mistakes. Those levels are at an all-time high. Thank you very much. I joined the police 36 years ago. I joined because I wanted to make a difference. We're not perfect. Enables us to do what we're here to do. And we all know what that is. We will do the best to make mistakes.